Good morning, modern steaders. Can you hear that? Yeah, another nice rainy morning this morning on the homestead. We're supposed to get an inch and three quarters of rain today. I'll have to keep an eye on it and see if we get that much rain. Yesterday I took the time and I smoked all of our bacon in the smoker because I knew we were going to be getting a lot of rain today and it wouldn't be fun smoking the bacon. Morning chickens. You guys love the rain. I don't know what it is, but the chickens sure do love the rain. Luckily yesterday I smoked the bacon because I knew we were getting all this rain. So I didn't put that footage in yesterday's video because I wanted to keep it all together so it wasn't a two part video on smoking and getting it all packaged up. So I'm going to cut to that right now. I need to get the smoker fired up and ready so we can do some smoking today. But I'm not going to show that in today's video. I want to have it all in one video, so the whole process will be in tomorrow's video. I get the stove fired up, then I got to go in the house and take care of all the other parts. And I want to get this fired up and warming up before we go in the house. Need our charcoal. Get a good bit of cold going. Oh yeah, that's smoking nicely. So our bacon's been curing for 10 days now. I'll put a link to the video right here of when we weighed up the bacon and made all of our cures and we put it in Ziploc bags. And I've been flipping it one to two times a day in the last 10 days. I'm getting that nice brine flowing. You see that right there? Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna take these over to the sink, rinse them off, pat them dry. And then once the smoker's to temp, I'm gonna put them in the smoker, get them smoking. Oh, does that look so good? Delicious. Look at that. Oh, yes. So I went ahead and I rinsed off all of our slabs of bacon. I got the brine off of them and I got off probably two thirds of the pepper on the outside. If you like yours really peppery, you can leave more of the pepper on. And then I gave it a little pat dry to get all that moisture back off of it. Now comes the fun part. We're going to go put these in the smoker. It's going to smell so good. Let's check on the smoker. We're still low temp. We are definitely smoking in there. So that is good. Let's see how our fire is doing. Oh, that's perfect. Let's get another log or two in there and then we'll put some hardwood lump charcoal in there going nicely some more hardwoods in there this is some maple oh I'm so excited to use this smoker for bacon it's the first time using it for bacon we it for making jerky but I didn't build it until last winter when our last season's bacon was already smoked and cured so this is gonna be a good test for it We're going to try to keep our temps down into the cold smoking zone, no higher than 150 if we can help it. Every once in a while we'll probably get a flare up and it might go over that, but we'll do our best. 
see how it's doing. Oh yeah, so we're gonna damper that off more. And we'll keep an eye on it. It's been a little over an hour and it smells amazing out here. Let's check on this bacon and see how we're doing. Ooh, we're at a perfect temp still. It's a little smoky, not a lot, but a little. That's what we want. Let's flip our bacon. Yes, it's looking amazing. Oh yeah, we're getting there. Sorry about the sun glare, but I can't control Mother Nature, unfortunately. I think the chickens smell it. It's not for you guys, sorry. Let's see how the wood stove's doing. She warm. Now we'll put this log in there. I know it smells amazing over here, but that bacon's not for you. Uh, put another nice stick of maple in here. The bacon should be ready. Let's take it out and check it. Ooh, looks so good. Oh, that looks so good. Yes. I'll tell you what, that smoker and bacon smelled so good. So I put the bacon in the refrigerator last night and then first thing this morning, about 4 a.m. I stuck it in the freezer so it'll chill it and it'll get it a little stiffer and it'll make it easier for slicing today. And I can't wait to get some in the frying pan and try it. It smelled so good yesterday. Oh, and I opened up the refrigerator to get the bacon out. Mm, so good, guys. So it's always a good day on the homestead when you're curing meats. Morning, morning buttercup. Big Rose not up this morning, Buttercup. I know. He's inside. It's too wet, he said. Yep. Is that alfalfa worth it there, Buttercup? Did you give us plenty of milk? We need to make some yogurt today. See. We're running out. That's because you want it now. So That's good it. yogurt. I know it's raining out. You don't like the rain, but I gotta feed you outside so we can clean your stalls. Come on out, it's feeding time. It's not raining that bad. Come on. Goats can't stand rain. It's just a little mist right now, but they don't want to come out. But I gotta feed them outside. Because if I don't feed them outside, I can't get in there and clean their stall. So that's why we always feed them outside. Way over here. So I can get the feed to them, close their stall up, and then clean it. And then we let them back in. We just don't show the cleaning of the stall part. It's not a very fun job picking up goat poo every morning. Right ladies, I won't give you any hay out here today. I'll give you the hay inside. There you go. Oop. Girls coming or what? There you go, go get some alfalfa. I gotta lock you out for a few minutes. I gotta clean your stalls. Better go get it before they eat it all on you, little pea. Go ahead, go get some. Good morning, ladies. It's so dreary out this morning, their automatic door just opened up. I was just gonna go over there and open it for you. I figured you must be getting hungry. Wow, 
There, mister. <laughs> you girls ready to come in now? Or cleaned up and ready for you? Zeke's calling for you. For the last few years, we've had to keep investing in, I shouldn't say we've had to, but we kept investing in equipment for processing our animals on the homestead. And this year, we didn't have to get anything. It's been nice. This meat slicer we got last year, and it made cutting the bacon so much easier. Gives you nice stall-like bacon consistency. I'm only gonna bring two slabs of bacon up at a time. I leave the other ones in the freezer so they stay cold and chilled. It makes it easier for slicing if they're stiff. Slice is so nice when it's a little chilled. That's good. I think that's perfect. What do you think? It looks good. That's a two and a half. That'll make a nice chunk to put into beans or chowder like you did the other night. Mmm, smells so good. Red coloring. Look at that. Oh yeah. You're very concentrated, my love. What's that? So you look very concentrated, my love. Don't want to mess up the bacon. Can't mess up the bacon. put this on top of some hamburgers and make some bacon cheeseburgers.
delicious tote full of bacon. Now we get the package up. I'm gonna weigh out one pound of bacon and get them packaged up in one pound packages. There you go. It smells amazing. I'm gonna have to fry some of this up and try it in a little bit. You got me distracted by all this bacon. It smells amazing, don't it? Geez, I push, I don't even know what I pushed. Must be this one. Shelf to hold it up. Yeah. Yep. It's even worse, especially if you have like some liquid. Some bags and we headed west. Thought that it might be the best thing for us. But I was thinking about me. And all the things that you leave behind. Family and a peace of mind. I, I, I got you. I am gonna love you till the stars go out. Shelter up above you till they all fall down We ain't got life, we got love We ain't got life, we got love Throw me like feathers in the heavy rain to us together the weather any change comes our way Nothing here feels like home Home so you wake when you don't feel Look at all that bacon. Mm. That kind of looks like a smoke trout. We'll be eating good this winter. Yeah. Now we just gotta find room in the freezer to put it all. Yeah, we're we just gonna organize. organize it. That's right. I don't think the goats will be out today. What do you think? Um, no. The chickens are. Yeah. They're waiting for us. Yeah. How many eggs? Nine, I'll say ten. Mm -hmm. Hey ladies and moose. The silky's not as much of a drowned rat today as she was the other day. Yeah. Like you can hang it right in your umbrella yeah, handle. That's the best part. There you go. The best part about all this drain is we don't have to fill up the chicken's water. Look at that, another broken egg today. Ah, oh, that was a soft shell. 
those. One. That was a broken egg. Three. Five. Seven. And it would have been nine. It would have been nine. We've had two broken ones. Scare you? Look at Hope's down. Hope, what are you doing? Hope. Nora. Hope. Hope likes it under there. Oh, uh, she's coming out. Hope, how did you even get out? How do you even fit in there, girl? Yeah. You're crazy. Hope, you You're crazy. Hi, you ladies hungry? All right, I'll get you some grain. I'm gonna go ahead and make some yogurt today. We have some milk that I want to use up and I only have half a quart of yogurt left so I'm going to go ahead and make some. I know we have talked about making um, yogurt in the video so I'm just going to show you how I go about doing that. Basically it's this uh, a lot of stirring. <laughs> so I do use um, Cultures for Health uh, yogurt starter and I like I haven't tried the other ones but I use the mild because I'm not a huge tangy um, don't love the flavor of tangy yogurt. So this is mild, so it has a mild tang and I really like it. If you do hear that noise in the background, it is the dehydrator. I do put my jars that I'm gonna be using to put the yogurt in, I put that in the dehydrator. Um, I've been doing 110 degrees and this let them uh, warm up while I'm making the yogurt. always want to use um, the freshest milk that you can so these are my newer milks obviously we haven't been drinking too much milk this week <laughs> and I usually keep it on like a medium a medium usually a medium low on our stove because it runs really hot and just keep stirring um, because you don't want to heat up too fast then you get like that grittiness so if I keep my uh, like a medium low I heat it to 185 degrees and then what I have to do um, then is after it's 285 degrees then I will um, take it off the heat and then just keep stirring until it's cooled down to 110 degrees add my culture Make sure that's stirred in good. Put it in my jars and then put it in my dehydrator. I put that, I set the, I set the dehydrator for 105 degrees and I put it, our magic number has been eight hours. At eight hours, it's been perfect yoga for us. Now I got the milk up to the temperature I wanted to, so now I took it off the heat and I'm just gonna keep stirring it. I need to bring the temperature down uh, to 110. And that's when I'll add my culture. I wanna do two package because I have quite a bit of milk here. I have over two quarts, so I'm going to do two cultures. Now I have my milk cooled down to the temperature I want and I'm going to add my two packets of culture. I just want to make sure I stir the, that man really good so they're all through the, out the milk. And 
and my, and my dehydrator just shut off, so my jars I'm not even really a yogurt fan, but I made this to try it, kind of experiment with it, and actually, I love it. I do put some honey, a little bit of honey, and some granola in it, um, but I love it. It's a nice snack, and it is a way for us to use um, all of our milk, because I do have plenty already frozen, in case I try to make goat soap sometime. Maybe that will be a wintertime project. I'm just gonna go a little bit over the ball where it says ball in there so that way try to make them all even here. And if not all full jars then I might it might not take eight hours. So I'll just have to keep an eye on that. I normally have them right to about here, so. Put my cap on. I'm really excited to have three quarts of yogurt. So I'm just gonna go ahead, put this into my dehydrator. So I do put one shelf in here to put those on top of. Okay, here's one of my finished yogurts. It was later at night, so it's already my PJs. This is my finished product. So when I'm ready, I scoop it out, put a little bit of honey on it, add my favorite granola or just honey, and have a good snack. I don't know how I did it, but I forgot to fry up the bacon and test it out. I'm going to have to do that soon. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us, guys. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, now is a great time to hit the subscribe button. While you're over there, give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps you. To, it really helps to let YouTube know, hey, we like this video and we need to promote it more, and it helps us grow our channel. So thanks for coming along, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lemna Acres.